Hey everybody, it's Kurt. I'm back. Um, so I took a, you know, I took some hiatus. I've been, uh, I've been working a lot. Um, but last week I just, uh, I just came up on my two-year anniversary um, of my injury. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the last two years have felt like a lifetime. Just, I mean. A lot of new things, um, new feelings, new achievements, um, some failures, lots of stuff. Um, but I'll do a, a quick two-year post-injury, post-surgery uh, mobility for you guys. Uh, let's start with the, the old left to right, the no motion. So I feel like I have more uh, motion to the right, but... Still good. I think I'm about 40%. Can't quite look over my shoulder. I'm still a shoulder turner. Uh, some of my friends who feel more comfortable with me like to make fun of me for it. And I'm alright with that. Um, up and down. I've actually... I feel like the up motion has been a little bit harder lately. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's something I should have stayed up on. The physical therapy. I, uh, I think I ended it too soon. Uh, the day I went back to work was my last day of physical therapy. I just, I, it was hard because I had to make my appointments around their schedule. So with me working, they weren't quite, um, the, the times weren't meeting up. So uh, that's one regret I have is giving up on that too early. And I should have honestly carried over some of the techniques and the stretches that they taught me. And I should have been doing that on my own. And I need to incorporate it, and I keep saying that every week that I need to incorporate it into my my gym routine. But uh, eventually, I, I hopefully you'll get back to doing it right. Um, so obviously the itching's still there. I have a hard time wearing a hat without it itching. Um, that hasn't changed. Uh, at the gym, I mean, the only thing I've really been limited on at the gym has been uh, my back squats. Can't quite. Uh, put the bar behind my neck it is just resting on it hurts so I've been doing a lot of front squats so now I'm actually PRing in my front squats um, I have a personal record on my bench last week which was huge for me I mean this is before my injury I, I benched more than than I ever did before my injury so it hasn't stopped me in the gym uh, it's slowed me down in, in, in I think you know certain things that I can do but then you know you do what you can and you get the best at that so that's what I've been doing at work I said I've been busy I'm uh, I'm back to full duty now um, which is good and bad I mean the good is is I don't feel useless anymore um, the bad is is it it, it can be challenging my neck I, like I said I work on high-speed boats uh, off of San Diego and um, you know I I play fair weather sailor as much as I can. I, uh, I'll try not to go out if the weather's bad, but there's been times where I've had to, and flying off of a, of a swell going, you know, 40 knots, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt, and those are, those nights are hard after, um, getting to sleep. Um, I'm working nights, actually, so I, uh, I'm sleeping during the day while the family's at work and, and school, which, uh, has been challenging. I'm trying to wean myself off pain meds altogether, and I'll tell you, trying to sleep, I, I feel like I've become kind of reliant on the pain meds to sleep. Um, I don't take them every night, but the nights that I don't take them, I, 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 I definitely feel a more challenged sleeping. Um, so, in order to combat that, I've been trying to figure out new ways to to stabilize my neck. I actually been I bought a or I have one of those neck pillows that you fly with, like airplane neck pillows. I've actually been using that. Um, I'll put that behind my neck to kind of stabilize my neck from rocking around and that's kind of worked for me. Uh, sometimes I have to take it off cuz it it'll put me in an uncomfortable position, but for the most part I've been using that a lot and it helped. Um, if you're having a hard time sleeping, give that a shot. It's a uh, it's worked pretty good for me. Life is still good. Um, still paying off my medical bills. You know, two years later, you'll forget about. It. We got we got called from uh, 
a collecting agency a couple weeks ago about the ambulance ride, which we thought was taken care of. The thing was expensive, man. I mean, I don't even want to get into how expensive the ambulance ride was. It, you know, we only went a couple miles, but um, yeah, those things those things add up. We, had, my, you know, friends of mine, my team, they had a GoFundMe for me and uh, and the family, and you know, being out of work for three months and and the medical bills drained that account real fast. So, still dealing with that, trying to get caught up. Um, but tis life. Um, we're getting there slowly but surely. Um, trying to get normality back and 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 we take it a day at a time um, I appreciate everybody that's reached out to me and asked me to make more videos uh, motivated me to get out of to, to get back on it I know there's a lot of people dealing with with similar issues and some of their own and, and I hope these videos help um, I'll, I'll keep making them um, progress or, or document my progress and uh, if you guys have anything similar any questions or if you're new to the broken neck society um, shoot me some some uh, messages and, and I tend to answer most of them. So uh, thanks for checking me out. All right. Bye. Bye.